After halftime, Tommy Tuberville joins us here. Well, just, just an average game, you know. Four field goals of safety, block punt for a touchdown, and the fumble return to punctuate it, huh? Yeah, we didn't have an offensive touchdown. No, I don't know how you do that. But, you know, we, we didn't play very well last week on defense, and we played awful the first half tonight. 18 plays. We gave up almost 10 yards a, a, a snap, and they made a few adjustments. Will Muschamp did a good job second half. David Irons made a brief reference to what you guys talked about in the locker room to get the defensive intensity improved and also the offensive line play. Yeah. Well, the, the defense was basically, we, we challenged their manhood. You yeah. know, and you got you to gotta play with some intensity. We didn't do it the entire game last week or the first half. The offensive line has been picked on all year long, and we'd give up some sacks, but, you know, to be able to run the football in a group like this, yeah. and we had to do it to win the game, you know, that was really the difference in the game tonight. Did you put anything new in offensively and defensively in the line play that got you guys playing so aggressively? What, we, we really didn't. The only thing that we, we we did, Lee, was we put in some screen passes. That slowed them down a little bit, yeah. and it and, and it enabled us to get the ball off a little, a little bit more on our drop-back pass and stuff, but... Uh, uh, you know, we, we haven't been great on the corners, but when you can run the football, it, that does wonders for your passing game. Exactly. Coach Tuberville, coming into the season, everyone knew about Kenny Irons, the, probably one of the best running backs in the country, but Brad Lester, to me, he was very impressive. Talk about Brad Lester and what he brings to the offense. You know, Brad was actually the starter last year before Kenny was the starter. Then he hurt his leg. Brad's got a lot of acceleration. He's really a good one-two punch but he's learned a lot from playing behind Kenny the last couple of years, and he had fresh legs. And he did practice most of the week because of an injury, and uh, I think him just having a little bit fresher legs than Kenny tonight was a, was a difference from him making those extra yards. Now, Tommy, when LSU came in here and lost, they did some grumbling on the way out of town about the replay officials. Certainly the Florida fans will look back at that Chris Lee play that was ruled a fumble and say his arm was moving forward. From your sidelines, what was your perspective yeah, on it? It happens so quick with us. And I wish I could see it. They don't show it on the, our jumbotron when it's an instant replay, but obviously it was controversial, but we got a call to go our way. We hadn't one had to go our way since that call at LSU. Right. Trey Blackman, the, the freshman running, our linebacker picked up the ball in his very first college game. Huh? Yeah, yeah, but also he lined up on the wrong side of the field on his first two plays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a freshman for you. That's freshman. <laughs> Congratulations, Tommy. He's a great Thank you very much. What, is it, what does this mean for you? you? You guys didn't play very well against Arkansas. Did you feel like you're back in this race now? Just yeah, we're back in the hunt. We, you know, we got another game at home, but we have two road games at Ole Miss and in Alabama, obviously, but we have Georgia here. It's still going to be tough. It's going to be tough for all the SEC yeah. teams. Everybody's got a good team this year. I'm going to tell you, on, on college game day, Auburn alum Charles Barkley said 21-17 Auburn. He was dead on until that little touchdown. Oh, by the way, at the end. So here's with you. <laughs> we love Charles. Yeah. Tommy, thanks. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. Great job. They're celebrating this quarter of Jordan Hare Stadium. Auburn back on track. Let's go back.